Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. I'm Tula, it's fabric launch day. So fabric launch day is all about showing you a new collection that's gonna be coming out later. So this is our second iteration of Deja Vu. So just to remind you all what Deja Vu is, the Deja Vu collection is something I'm going to be trying to do every year. Like, that's the idea. I mean, as long as you want it, that's that's what makes it happen or not happen is like whether or not you want it. So Deja Vu is my way to give new fans of the fabric a chance at an old collection without devaluing the original collection. So that's the whole concept of this. So the idea is it's not a full fabric collection with... 15 to 25 pieces or anything like that. It's one new colorway to an old collection. So the idea being that I know how much these fabrics sell for aftermarket later when they're way, way out of print and they're super rare and super hard to find. And while that's delightful and humbling and a huge compliment, I still want people to get a shot at the fabric at reasonable regular retail prices. So we came up with this concept to do the Deja Vu collection, which doesn't just reprint an old collection. It gives you a brand new colorway. Sometimes there's a couple new pieces. Sometimes I've changed something small about it in order to make it more functional, which I'll show you in this particular one. Um, so last year we did Parisville Deja Vu and added a new colorway to Parisville. This year we're doing Nightshade. I live to serve. I know you guys love this one. I love this one. So let's dig into the collection. So it is eight pieces, so eight fabrics. There were only five original prints in the original Nightshade collection. And I gave you those five prints, but then I also gave you like a couple of new things that I think is gonna be really exciting to everybody. So here's the original collection. It came in three color palettes, this like sort of deep olive green, this sort of dusty teal, and this dusty purple color. So clearly the colorway missing from this lineup is pink. And I wanna kind of show you some of the differences between the original collection and the new collection. Remember, these things were printed what, like 12 years apart, 10 years apart. I think, I don't think there's dates on these. These are my original salesman cards from way back when um, that the sales reps would go and show the collection so with. the new collection, it varies slightly. It's a little bit brighter. So there were a couple of things that I really needed to like zero in on and hit hard because when it comes to the main faces, the main sort of portraits in the print, I needed to make sure that if you cut this down, it wasn't exactly the same as the old one because they're largely black and cream. Um, and so I needed to make sure that there was a difference that you couldn't just take the new one, cut it down. You know, I hate that we have to think about these things, but, and then sell it on the internet as the old one for way more, I don't know, people do crazy things. So, the base of this collection in the faces, um, the base color, it's the same cream, but instead of black, it's actually a really, really dark sort of plum. Can you see that? Does that show the difference on camera? Yeah. Sort of? Yeah, it does, definitely. So it's a, it's, it's a really, really, really dark plum color, sort of a raisiny plum color instead of pure black. That way, no matter how you chop it down, you know what is the original and what is the new. And doing these new Deja Vu collections is super fun for me because I get to go back with a decade more knowledge in fabric design and sort of apply that back to an old collection. Um, this is, this was, I believe, this was my first, no, I know it was. This was my first attempt at doing people on fabric. Um, so this is the first time I ever did like portraits on fabric. Um, so this one's special for me because that was like, that was a thing. That was like a confidence thing for me. I didn't feel like confident enough to do that for a long time. So when I finally did, it was really exciting. And 
I ha still to this day love this collection to pieces and I was really excited to revisit it. So let's get into it. So a couple of things I wanna just sort of show you in terms of differences so we can start with her. So for one, instead of the each portrait being three colors, they're actually the two base colors and then multicolor. You can see that it's just like pale blue in all of this. And here you have pink in her cheeks, green here, and then teal in her hair. So all of these now are gonna be slightly more multicolored than the original. Again, I wanted to make sure that when you cut it down, that it was still clear that it was the new colorway and not the old, the old versions. Let's see if we have, oh yeah. This is something I, I really, really wanna point out. So, <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've heard before that like printing, if you get it from a different dye lot or a different print lot, it can be slightly different, which is true. Usually it's not perceptible in any way, but I just wanna show you like how much better our mills are 10 years later. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy. Okay, so it really is obvious in her because she has a lot of fine line work. But if you look at like, look at her nose. Let me see if I can get that closer. Like, look at how much sharper and finer and, like, tighter that print is in the new version versus the old version. Like, even in, in the frame, all this tiny, tiny line work, look at how sharp and fine that is and how sort of chunky the original was. I mean, I loved the original. No shade on the original Nightshade, but the printing on this collection is like miles better. Um, not because they did anything wrong then, it's small differences. It can be a different technician working on the prints, you know, you never know what it is. But, um, and so a couple of changes I made to the main print. So this is the main print, it's called Coven. And one of the changes I made based on feedback I've gotten over the years is to not cut, if you can see, to not cut any of the faces off on the edges. So instead of having another half face here, which is essentially useless, um, I filled it with, I just left the background open. So you get all this extra space if you wanna use some of this background in your piecing, you get a little bit more of that sort of background overscaled floral um, in the pink. And you get that in multicolored in another piece. But so here's our three witches, our three pretty ladies. So we have Neptunia Von Black. So this is, when I designed this, I actually wrote like a whole story for this. And we'll get into the story maybe in another video just because I think I'll run out of time here. But there's three sisters. The youngest sister is Neptunia Von Black, and you know she's Neptunia because she has the anchor from a previous fabric collection called Neptune in her hair. Um, this is, which one is this? This is, so there's Neptunia, Scarlet, and Belladonna. Belladonna. This is Belladonna. So she's the family poisoner, um, very crafty. She's clearly the smartest one in the family. You can tell because she wears glasses and everybody knows that when you wear glasses, it means you're smart. And then she's sort of the matriarch of the family. So this is Scarlet Von Black. Um, and she's a little bit of a Black Widow, if we're being honest. Um, so those are the three sisters. And you can tell how classy she is because she wears like a tie, right? Little indicators. Uh, she's a pirate, obviously. Eye patch, duh. Um, so we've got our, th our three sisters. So this is the main print. What we did... What I did with this collection that I'm really, really excited about, and we'll get into all the other prints too, is this was the first time I really did like a monster scale design. I mean, it was big. These things are big. They're like, if you include the frame, the frame around each person, each, each little witchy witch, I mean, they're like 12 by 10 or something crazy. They're really large. Um, the frame is meant to be just backdrop. So when I cut this down, I intend to cut into the frame. I don't really intend to leave the frame open, but some people do. 
Um, I will say though that they don't, there's no space really between them because you're in, I intend for you to cut into the frame because it's just such an awkward overscale size. But so in addition to the big boys, I thought our printing has gotten so good the last couple of years and so sharp that I challenged them to give me a mini version. Okay, this is maybe the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But look at the little minis. And look at how good that printing is. Like I am over the moon with how good they were able to print these tiny, I mean, I reduced these. It's like a, I think it's like a 20% scale. Like it's crazy smaller. Like these little guys are smaller than my hand. They're, you know, how do you do that? Like four by five maybe at the very most. So my idea was to give you a couple extra pieces. So this was not in the original collection. This is an add-on for this collection. And because it's a single colorway, a single colorway for me is a little difficult to work with um, because it's just all one color. And that's hard for me, as we know. So I kind of divided the one colorway into two parts. So there's sort of, it's all pink, but we have sort of a dark and a light version of the same pink. So in our darker magenta colors, we have the main print, Coven, obviously. You just don't want to get confused with what's underneath it. Oh, sorry. Um, and then we have the big floral, which was everyone's favorite from the first collection after the the main prints. So we have the big floral with the little spider webs and the lightning bolts and the little skull and crossbones and the little moon and stars. Then we have the lace raven. So it's like, it's a sort of steampunky, kind, I mean, I didn't really mean it to be that, it just sort of became that, in this deep magenta with the dark plum on top. And it's set on top of a, like a fishnet. And then we have the storm clouds in pink with like that little hit of orange. Um, so a little hit of orange in there and they're like little moons and clouds. And then I thought, because I'm using such a different background color, like it's not just pure black, um, I needed to give you sort of a, almost like a solid to work with. And so I took the fishnet that's behind here in this raven print and gave you a whole fishnet in that color. So you have a dark that perfectly matches the color in the collection. Cause it's gonna be a really hard color to match cause it's a bizarre color. I mean, if you wanna match it dead on, you can 100% use black and white with this and it looks really good. But I wanted to give you an option to match that really deep raisiny plum color. And so that's sort of our dark pink colorway and then in the little ones, because little babies are lighter, right? Like little babies. Um, I gave you sort of a pastel pink to go with it. So all of these are gonna overlap. So all the same colors that are in this floral are gonna be in here, but the background instead of the dark magenta is the light pink. And here, because the dark background of the fabric and the background of the frame are the same dark sort of plum color, raisiny plum color, the frames sort of fall in. And this is more of how I always saw using the piece where you're really just focused on the oval in the center and not the frames and the frames really fall into it. And then because I give you little faces, I had to give you a little floral to coordinate with it. So here's your little floral coordinate. So you have your big one that goes with your big faces here. And then you have your little floral, which goes with your little faces. And then the last thing I did that's a little bit different is I gave you rainbow poison bottles, little apothecary bottles, little apothecary jars with all of our little potions in it. Um, are now rainbow instead of just black and white on a color background. I am so excited for this collection. I'm so excited to see it again. I missed it so desperately. I love it so much. I hope you guys are excited. I know you've been wanting this one and I live to serve. Happy Fabric Launch Day!